Oh, what's up, everybody? Once again, it's Brand Man Sean, and today we're talking about the impact of great shows and how you can level up your performance. Now, of course, we've seen a lot of great performers out there, people like Travis Scott, and he has his bird, his unique performance. Of course, you've seen Kanye West with, I don't know, all Kanye West shows. Beyonce be out there doing aerobics. Chance the Rapper has these puppets. That's a unique show that he puts on. So as a reminder, the power of a great show is what it does for you as a marketing effect, as a snowball effect. When people experience your show, just like when they experience any great product, they spread the word. But if your show is trash, the word will not be spread. Or if they do spread a word, it'll be a bad word that gets spread, which is going to stop your show from snowballing. I call that product experience PR. Some people might just call it a testimonial. Either way it goes, people finding out about how good your show is in whatever way they find out will only help your show get bigger, better, and it'll also make future marketing easier. The only problem is a lot of artists have the mindset of I'm just an artist versus being an entertainer. That's the biggest difference. When you look at all the list of those people that I mentioned, if you think about Michael Jackson, the GOAT, he was an entertainer. Now, what's the difference between an artist and an entertainer? Well, when you're in artist mode, it's pretty selfish. It's all about you, whoever the artist is. That's just a different kind of mode. What's your level of expression? What do you want to make things look and feel like? But entertainer is only judged on the value of the people being entertained. A lot of times, you know, people say art can't be judged, but when it comes to entertainment, if the people are not entertained, then you aren't entertaining. And what's so important about this small paradigm shift is it forces you to think about bringing joy or whatever freaking emotion that you want to bring to the audience. It might be hard at first, but I've seen a lot of artists who aren't necessarily huge do it. I remember one of the great artists that I've seen do it was this artist named Tokyo. I went to Aminave concert and he was one of the openers and he had this high energy just like Travis Scott. It was a small stage, small venue, probably only like 100 people in the venue. He was an opener, so he didn't have set design or anything like that, but the level of energy and the way he interacted with the crowd crowd made it amazing. Another thing you can do is interact with the crowd in different ways. There was an artist that I was working with. He actually had a music video coming out where there was going to be a crazy ex-girlfriend and a current girlfriend that a guy was messing with. Now he was performing for a crowd who had no idea who he was. Now what I had him do was before the performance, he posted on his Instagram a side-by-side -side picture of both girls right? The crazy ex-girlfriend who was going to go wild on the dude and the current girlfriend. And then during the show, in the middle of his set, he stopped and told everybody about the video he had coming out, the whole theme of it. And he wanted people to go to his Instagram page and in the comments, guess which one was the crazy ex-girlfriend and which one was the, you know, sweet vixen new girlfriend. It was a small crowd interaction, but one, he got promo for his video out. Two, he got a lot of people to go to his Instagram page, give him some interaction, and of course, follow him in the process. But it felt organic and he wasn't even begging people to follow him. They just did it. Those kind of things are memorable for people, especially since they'll still be seeing you in their social feeds since they followed you. Now, another thing that you could definitely do, even if you aren't the hugest artist in the world, I know a lot of people say, hey, I might be able to have a lot of high energy, jump around, but I can't do this full scale set design like Travis Scott, but I have seen people do it. Y'all know that I've put on festivals. I know that it doesn't cost that much to really trick out a room or trick out a stage myself. There's an amazing artist named Yanni Mo who has like the dopest live performance that she does where she does this set design. It's, I'm not going to even go deep into it because I don't want to pass off the sauce, but y'all just got to follow. Look up Yanni Mo. One day you'll probably see it recorded somewhere. But as interesting as the stage setups would be, they would actually just be using stuff that people were about to throw away or buying things for a real low price. There's all kind of things that you can do when you're getting creative. Now, another thing that you can do is simply having some sort of novelty. There's people who use things like loop pedals that, that allows you to create a unique and different experience. And think about when Kanye did that song, I think it was the VMAs.
That very simplistic, refined performance is something that anybody can pretty much do. But it was novel and it made people actually pay more attention to him. And one thing you can always do is just integrate comedy. Jamie Foxx is one of my favorite at all times as far as being a comedian slash artist. <laughs> I say it's black, you say it's white, you say it's red, I say it's blue. We just don't get along. And then sometimes they just walk in and you just... <laughs> and you just want to say, fuck you. Oh, fuck you, fuck you. Fuck you, fuck you. He used to put on shows that straddle the line between music and comedy so well that I'm surprised that I don't see more people doing the same thing in their own way. But speaking of comedy, when it comes to improving your show, you can watch comedians, you can watch other types of artists and performers all other sorts of things to make your performance unique. You don't have to just watch musicians. You don't have to watch musicians in your own genre. Take stuff from other people, play with it, experiment, so you can create your own unique show. Because there's too many people who just jump up and down. There's too many people who literally move the exact same way on stage when they're dancing. Figure out your own thing, but usually that takes you looking other places even those places that you don't even necessarily like genre-wise yourself. You might go to a rave and say, you know what, I don't really mess with that music, but I wanna take the beach balls and throw them around in my performance and have foam machines blowing stuff. There's all kind of different things that you can do or different things that you can take that could up your performance and set you apart from the people in your own realm of competition. And we've already talked about the benefits of having a dope show. So put in the comments some of the dope show ideas that you've tried, but then I know some of y'all might not do that because y'all feel like it might be stolen. But hey, I would definitely like to know some unique things you've seen, maybe if you aren't gonna do them yourself. Other than that, if you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. If you like it, you might as well share it. And if you're not subscribed, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button.